Have you ever wondered what the different characters from Miraculous looked like before their final versions and how their looks evolved over time? If your answer is yes, then you're on the right track. First conceptualized by Thomas Astrock in 2005, the idea for Ladybug came from a chance encounter with a woman adorned with a ladybug, which inspired Astrock to create a character around the motif. The original concept was aimed at a more mature audience, with political themes and a dark atmosphere. However, collaborations with producers such as Jeremy Zag, who is the producer of Zag, facilitated the development process, then made Ladybug to become some kind of cartoon. Ladybug's character underwent significant changes during development, including being briefly considered as part of a superhero team, but ultimately this change was abandoned to preserve the show's unique identity. Miraculous first aired in the fall of 2015 and was shown all over the world. Each season of the series consists of a large number of episodes. The first, second, third, and fourth seasons have 26 episodes, each about half an hour long. The fifth season has an extra episode, called Action, totaling 27 episodes. At first, it was confirmed that the series would have a sixth and seventh season. Then, it's confirmed one more time that there would be an eighth season. This show has been very popular among people of all ages worldwide due to its exciting storyline and unique animation style. Furthermore, the first five seasons had the same animation style. However, producers had decided to take the animation one step further by changing the 3D software they use, and they started developing season six with different assets, meaning that the models, environment, outfits, and much more will be changed in the upcoming project of Ladybug. All characters are redesigned, and almost each of them have different hairstyles and clothes. Their appearances are more detailed, and they look more grown up. They no longer have round and cartoonish faces. Okay, if you're ready, now let's start talking about the characters. Marinette is first. In the very first anime style, Marinette had a white shirt and a black jacket. She wore blue shorts instead of pink pants. Her shoes were also different. Personally, I didn't like her shoes because they didn't match the rest of her outfit's colors. Clearly, in this version, Marinette was far from being a fashionista. She dressed quite ordinarily, in equally ordinary colors. In the next version, Marinette is closer to her current version. She wore the same jacket as today, but her bottom half was different. She had pink overalls, and we could clearly see Tiki inside one of her pockets. She also wore blue shorts, which seemed to be a different color from the shorts she wore in the animated version. She also had a small pink hair clip. In our last version of Marinette, she wore a dark gray blazer with rolled up sleeves. Underneath, she wore a white t-shirt with black stitching and a flower pattern under the collar. She wore a pink rose pin and light pink ballerina flats with reddish brown soles. In the episode Derision from season five, we've revealed that the students had different clothes in the previous school year. Although her top stays the same with the current one, Marinette's hairstyle was different. She didn't use her hair with ponytails, but instead had a big bun. Her trousers, which are pink now, were black back in those days. We also learned that the reason why Marinette switched from bun to ponytails was because of her friend Sequeen getting fired from school. And a few months ago, Jeremy Zag has published some teaser clips from season six, where it included Marinette's outfits. And we have Marinette's fresh look. In the video fragment, we find her taking a well-deserved nap on her balcony and shielding her face with a book. Her casual outfit is particularly striking, consisting of a pair of pink shorts, black socks, and a butterfly print shirt. It is undeniable that this ensemble exudes a more mature and formal air and marks an important evolution in the character's style. What do you guys think about that? Next is Adrian. You already know that in the animated version, Adrian is Felix. He's tall with styled blonde hair and bright green eyes. He wears a light gray long sleeve shirt with a black tie under a dark gray vest, dark gray pants, and black shoes. In the other version, there's not much difference from the animated one. He wears an unbuttoned white shirt with a flipped collar and rolled up sleeves above the elbow. He wears blue jeans and orange sneakers with white laces and a logo representing a black butterfly in a circle on the sides. From now on, we won't talk about the animated version anymore because the rest of the characters weren't shown in the concept art. We see that Chloe was really different from what she is now. Initially, her hair was different, wavier and longer. She didn't have a ponytail. She also wore sunglasses like she does now. She wore completely different things, a long white jacket with black lines and a white t-shirt underneath. She also wore shorts with black and white lines. 
If you ask me, this style is stunning. In the final version, Chloe wears a sparkling white bolero that extends halfway down her forearms. The rest of her outfit includes white denim capris with a gold belt. As for Olya, there were two concepts, and I'll show you the first one. In the first concept, she wore pink sunglasses and pink clothes. She looked dressed ordinarily like Marinette. In the second concept, she's almost identical to her current style. The only differences are her pocket style, her hair tie, and some reddish shoes in her hair. In the series, she wears black sunglasses with a white dot on each side. Her outfit consists of a white tank top under a short sleeve plaid shirt, light blue jeans, and black and white high top sneakers. Nino, in fact, doesn't have any major differences. His accessories and clothing are the same, but with different colors. For example, his hat in the first concept was black, but in the final phase, it's orange. His t-shirt was pink, and the logo was colorful, but in the final form, it's blue, and the logo is black and white, just like his pants and sneakers. He wears a plain red cap and uses his headphones. He usually wears a bright azure t-shirt with an eye drawing on the front. He has moderate azure jeans and red and white high top shoes. The character who surprised me the most is Julika. Her first look was totally different from what she is now. She had short pink hair, a white painted face, a sweatshirt, purple overalls, shoes with black and white lines, and purple boots. She also had a guitar. One could say she was much more gothic than the series version. She wears a black t-shirt with a swan collar and purple leggings with holes above the knees and black high top sneakers. She wears black lace gloves matching her hair color. Rose. I find Rose's first hairstyle really funny. It's a good thing that the producers decided to change it. She wears pink t-shirts and skirts because of her arms. We can't see the details, but we can tell it's ordinary. In the series version, she wears a magenta dress with light pink sleeves. She also wears a pink mini skirt with two white edges above the fabric, white leggings, pink wrist bracelets, and pink sandals with brown soles. Kagami. At the beginning of the concept art, Kagami's hair was thought to be brown and fading to the dark brown at the roots. She wore a white blazer, a white shirt, a red skirt, and a dark pantyhose. We see that she also wore a long dark pantyhose as well. Of course, she also went through some important changes. In her final version, Kagami's outfits consist of a white blazer with black outlines. Underneath, she wears a black collared blouse. Her bottom includes a red skirt paired with black leggings and red sneakers featuring white details and black soles. So we can easily say that Kagami's hair and shirt has gone through the change. And I wonder, which one is better for you? Okay guys, that was all for today. What do you think about the evolution of the characters? Which one do you like the most? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment your ideas down below. See you in the next video. Bye!